Hello everyone. So here in this problem, we have to verify whether minus 1 comma 0 is a stationary value of the function z equal to x cube plus 3x y square minus 3x or not. So to verify whether the minus 1 comma 0 is a stationary value or not, we have to check certain conditions. Now what are the certain conditions? So we know that at stationary point we get minima or maxima. Next at stationary point we know that f of x or, or fx that is dou f by dou x and dou f by dou y is 0. So here to check whether minus 1 comma 0 is stationary point or not I will check whether dou f by dou x is 0 and dou f by dou y is also 0 and then we will check whether at this point we are getting minima or maxima and if we are getting then we will say yes this is the stationary point of the function z. So since this function is a function of x and y first of all I will say let f of x comma y is equal to x cube plus 3x y square minus 3x and I will say this as equation number 1. Now to check whether it is stationary point or not first of all I will say let that stationary point is equal to x comma y and which is equal to minus 1 comma 0. Now we will check the values of dou f by dou x and dou f by dou y. So for that I will find out all the partial differentiations which are required. So first of all I will find out dou f by dou x. So dou f by dou x is nothing but partial differentiation of f with respect to x. So here we will get 3x square here we will get plus 3y square and here we will get minus 3. Next we will find out dou f by dou y. So by partial differentiating f with respect to y we will get here 0. Here we will get 3x as it is and that will be 2y. So 6xy and here we will get 0. Next we will find out dou square f by dou x square. So that is partial differentiation of dou f by dou x with respect to dou by dou x or with respect to x. So here we will get 6x, here we will get 0 and 0. Next we will find out dou square f by dou y square. So we will differentiate this with respect to y again. So we will get only 6x. And next we will find out dou square f by dou x dou y. So we will differentiate this dou f by dou y partially with respect to x. So here we will get 6y. So we got all the values. Now we will substitute this stationary value minus 1 comma 0 in dou f by dou x and dou f by dou y to check whether it is 0 or not. So by substituting this here we will get 3 into minus 1 square. So minus 1 square is 1. So we are getting 3. Y is 0. So here we will get like this. 3 plus 0 and minus 3. It means we are getting the value of dou f by dou x as 0. Next we will check over here. So value of x is minus 1. Value of y is 0. So 0 into anything. 0. It means we are getting dou f by dou x and dou f by dou y equal to 0. It means this point is satisfying the condition that is dou f by dou x and dou f by dou y must be 0. So after this we will check for minima and maxima. So here I will say also dou f by dou x is equal to 0 and dou f by dou y is equal to 0 at minus 1 comma 0. Now let us find out for minima or maxima. So for that we will consider this dou square f by dou x square as r, dou square f by dou x dou y as s and dou square f by dou y square as t. 
and now we'll find out the value of r s t at minus one comma zero. So r will be x is minus one, so minus six. So here I'll say therefore r is equal to minus six comma s. So y is zero. So six into zero is zero. So value of s is zero. S is equal to zero, and find out t. So for t minus one into six, that is minus six. So t is also minus six. Now we'll find out the condition R t minus s square. So by doing R t minus s square, we will get minus six into minus six, that is thirty six, which is greater than zero. And whenever we get the value of R t minus s square greater than zero. we say it is minima or maxima at that stationary point and to check that we check the value of r so here r is minus 6 which is less than 0 so we can say that yes definitely at the point minus 1 comma 0 we have maxima because the value of r is less than 0 and this rt minus s square is greater than 0 and therefore we can say that minus 1 comma 0 is a stationary Value of the function z equal to x cube plus 3xy square minus 3x. Thank you.